Torahs don't have Nikit. Torah scrolls never have Nikit. When the Torah text is printed in a book, then Nikit are, or can be, added. In that case, the Nikit markings attached to the four-letter name are the vowels of the word that is read, not the word that is written, so the vowels belong to the word, Adonai, which is the word the reader speaks aloud when he or she sees the four-letter name. Some printed books with the Torah in them, however, do not add Nikid to the four-letter name in the first place, and the word just sits there without any vowel markings, even though all the words around it have them. OR it is abbreviated in the text, there are a couple of well-known abbreviations. Nikid weren't invented until around 1000 years ago or thereabouts, and the Torah text is at least 2400 years old, if not several centuries older than that. The custom of not pronouncing the name was well established before anybody started adding vowel markings to Hebrew. Nobody has ever added the right vowel marks to the name, partly out of long-standing tradition of never pronouncing it, but also because we literally do not know what the vowel markings ought to be for certain. First, let's clear up the terminology. If by Torah you are referring to a Torah scroll, the question is meaningless because a Torah scroll never is written with the Nikid vowel marks. When the text of the Torah is printed in a book with Nikid, it is generally referred to as a Chumash. The Chumash typically includes also the Haftarah readings, the excerpt from the prophets that accompanies the Sabbath morning Torah readings, and a commentary. The entire Hebrew Bible is referred to as the Tanakh, an acronym for the three sections of the Hebrew Scriptures. When reading from the Torah or from the Chumash as part of a religious service, one uses the word Adonai. Traditional Jews will substitute the word Hashem, literally, the name, when reading in a non-liturgical setting, such as group study. The YHVH spelling is considered to be a symbol, not a word, and is never pronounced as spelled. As said by several other answerers, Torah scrolls do not have Nikudim. A printed Chumash or Tanakh most likely will. The Nikudim that have been placed on GD's unpronounceable name are done the way they are specifically to remind the reader that this word cannot be pronounced. Each Nikudim is applied to only one Hebrew at a time. Each Hebrew letter within a word cannot have more than one Nikudim on it. The Kometz, which looks like AT, is between the first and the and the Holam is also over the. That is literally unpronounceable. No one who knows even the least little bit about reading Hebrew, can pronounce that. It completely stops even a beginning reader. The first time I saw it in a lesson, I stopped and said, I don't think I can read this word. Pause. Oh, I really can't read this word. Adonai.